Of the summer transfer windows that Man United have faced since Fergie retired, I think this upcoming one is the single most important one. With Oli at the wheel, we've got a man in charge who has reignited the fire of United among the fans and certainly some of the players. But simply put, and we all know it, this squad is not good enough to compete with Manchester City and Liverpool for the Premier League title. A summer clear out really is needed. And according to reports from Sky Sports, that's exactly what Solskjaer has got planned. Sky Sports are saying that Solskjaer plans to sell at least six players this summer in the biggest clear out in four years at United, which is music to my ears. But what players should Solskjaer be selling? What I'm going to do in this video is detail my list of players I'd like to see Oli sell in the summer. And as always, I want to hear from you and the players that you'd like to sell in the comments below. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, get involved. And if you're a regular, drop a like on the video, but let's get straight into it. Now, back in the January transfer window, I did a similar video saying the keep or sell, players that I felt that should be sold in the summer or kept in the squad. And on that list, I had Lee Grant, Phil Jones, Chris Smalling, Marcus Rojo, Antonio Valencia, Matteo Darmian, Marouan Fellaini, and Nemanja Matic. Plenty has changed since then. Fellaini's already gone. Smalling and Jones have both signed new contracts. But who is on my list now? What I want to do is run through it with you straight away. But let's get to number one. And that is Antonio Valencia, who we already know is leaving. Valencia's contract has expired and United rightly have decided not to extend it. Now, Valencia, I remember his pomp. I think it was maybe 2011. We went through a period of Valencia crossing and Rooney scoring a header. And that was when Valencia was in his prime. His injuries really hurt him. But Valencia, to his credit, has done a job at United for the best part of a decade at right wing and at right back. At points, he was good there, but he's just not good enough to be playing there anymore for United. So he should absolutely be sold. And he's first on my list. Second on my list is Matteo Darmian. Now, when Louis van Gaal signed him, I remember those first seven or eight games, I thought, wow, we've signed a genuine right back, an Italian who knows how to defend, who can do it going forward, but is very good defensively. And then it all went to pot and Darmian disappeared into the shadows of United and he's never come out of them. He wasn't really used by Van Gaal towards the end. He certainly wasn't used by Jose Mourinho. And Darmian, certainly for the good of his own career, needs to go back to Serie A and sort of try and reignite his career because he's certainly not going to get that playing time at United. So Darmian, absolutely number two on my list. And absolutely number three is Marcus Rojo. Marcus Rojo, what can you say about him? He's a hothead. He turned into an auxiliary centre-back at one point and you're thinking, wow, he looks like a good player here. And then he got the injury and then he's been gone since. But Rojo is a bit like Eric Bailly, I suppose, a hothead. Always got that mistake in him. Always seems to be lunging for the ball. Never really predicts things. More of a reactionary defender. And he's simply not good enough to be playing for Manchester United. So Valencia's first, Darmian second, and Rojo, those three absolutely need to be sold. And for me, somebody who I really want to see out the door this summer now is Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez, Sanchez, Sanchez. What could have been? You could have been Robin Van Persie Mark II. You were in that you made the move, but in terms of the impact you had at the club, it's polar opposite. All you've done, as far as I'm looking from the outside in, is be grumpy, sat there with your 350 grand a week and not putting in the effort. Yes, Managers haven't helped, tactics haven't helped, X, Y, Z. But Sanchez could have done a hell of a lot more than he has done at United. And he fucked our wage structure up. That's why Herrera looks like he's even a matter too. But Sanchez, man, I'm annoyed that you didn't turn out how you could have been. And I feel you're largely the reason that's happened. Because I don't think mentally you wanted it as much as the United fans wanted it. And it's really disappointing but he absolutely has to go this summer. And so does Ashley Young. Or Gashley Young, as I called him in my match reaction to the Wolves game. I'm sorry, Ashley, you're a nice guy. And he's done a job at United since he's joined. But this is the summer where United get ruthless. And nice guys don't keep their jobs simply because they're nice. They keep their job because they're good at it and they're the best at it. And United need that this summer. And Ashley Young is not the best right back. Not even at the club. Certainly not in the league. And he shouldn't be our captain. 
So for me, Ashley Young needs to go if United really are truly going to be ruthless this summer. And another player I think should be leaving is Lee Grant. I always thought it was a weird signing when Lee Grant was brought in. But he's our third choice goalkeeper. And if Joel Castro Pereira comes back off his loan spell or anybody else comes through the academy, they can be third choice. We've got De Gea, we've got Romero. Excellent first two. Just give it to a youngster for a third, not Lee Grant. Let him go elsewhere and play regular football. And there's two more players on my list that probably wouldn't have been on my list in January. They certainly weren't on my list in January. And one who definitely wouldn't have been was Ander Herrera. But it seems like he's joining PSG. It seems like Herrera and his agent are pushing United for too much money as a consequence of Sanchez's wages. Herrera wants around £200,000 a week. I'm reading in reports on a three, four year deal, but he's turning 30 in the summer. Players of that age don't get that deal, let alone on that money, and Herrera's not worth that. So United have put their foot down and set a precedent by letting Herrera go by the looks of it. And if he is asking for that much money, United can replace Herrera with somebody better and younger on those wages. So I understand. I don't want to see Herrera leave, but I understand. And that is why he's on my list. And why matter, I would include him in this list too. If you're talking about nice guys, he's the nicest guy in football. And I'd love to see him come back to the club in some sort of ambassadorial role in the future. But the reality is with Juan Mata is he doesn't suit this Solskjaer system. He's not fast enough. He's not strong enough. I'm sorry, Juan, but Spanish football suits you more. Go back to La Liga. And like Santa Cazorla is now tearing it up at Villarreal, although they're nearly getting relegated, Juan Mata could do the same. Lovely guy. Would keep him at the club if he was a cheerleader only. But in terms of a player... United can do better in that position on those wages. And that is the ruthless aspect that United need to take this summer. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I'd include Phil Jones and Nemanja Matic on this list as well. So a hell of a lot of players, but I don't think United will be able to do that this summer. I think give one more year to Matic, ease him out. I don't think he's good enough to be playing in this sort of defensive midfield role because he's not mobile enough. We need someone who can cover more ground. It's as simple as that. It worked under Mourinho for a point, but it's not working, I don't think, under Solskjaer. Even though his form has improved, we can do better than Matic. And that is my judgment on whether I'm saying players should be kept or sold. As for Phil Jones, he shouldn't have got a new contract in the first place, neither should Chris Smalling. But I would rather keep Chris Smalling ahead of Jones and Rojo. And I think Jones will probably stay for another year and then be eased out. But if we are being ruthless and we are going to replace, sell Jones as well. I just can't see United doing that much business in one window. Overall, that would be eight players I'd like to see sold by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer this summer. That would free up over one million pounds per week in wages. That is a position where you can properly restructure and completely rejuvenate this Manchester United squad. It's needed it for years. We've all known that. But we've sold Fellaini, we've sold one player here and one player there. Louis van Gaal was the last manager to do a clear out. And I questioned some of the players that he actually got rid of. But we need it this summer under Solskjaer. If we truly are going to catch City and Liverpool, this is when United get ruthless. So they are the eight players I would like to see sold this summer by Solskjaer. But who do you want to see sold? Let me know in the comments below as always. If you are new to the channel, come on guys. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time though, take it easy.